so uh, let the trip begin we start again with uh, uh, El Morent Today I have to go to Yuhvi to get my vaccination and it's um, going to be Peugeot, electric Peugeot GT and I noticed one interesting thing uh, so from now on you can also rent an uh, electric uh, scooter so here it is El Morent So, let me know in the comments below, would you like uh, to see how those electric scooters are faring? And um, today I'm also using the combination, which is ideal uh, with uh, my Segway, because uh, whenever you rent uh, the Elmo rent, you have like half an hour to get uh, to the spot where the car is located. And with the Segway, it is perfect you don't need to rush otherwise you have to be a bit uh, bit in a hurry because half an hour uh, it takes time to get to the spot but okay so here's the car and let the trip begin thank you Elmo for the car hi uh, good that I check that the one cable was missing the charging cable for the car uh, which was not in the trunk uh, there was only this uh, home charger and now we are going to change uh, the car from the with this car I'm going to drive to another location uh, and uh, uh, take a new car the adventure begins let's see how it goes So now we are with the new car, Volkswagen. Uh, let's see. It seems uh, maybe even bigger and better. So Yehvi, here we go. Here we come. <laughs> Thank you, Elmo, for solving the issue with the cable so quickly. And let the trip begin. Uh, it is quite spacious. From the back, it you have much more leg room, and looks nice. So that's the cable, now we have to unhook it and uh, put it in the trunk. So this is very important, always check uh, if the cable is uh, in the car or, or is it charging and you always take the cable with you because uh, this uh, important piece of equipment. So now I'm in the Volkswagen i3 or something. Uh, I'll let the check uh, the model and let's start from the beginning it's my first time in this car and uh, I like the roof already it's uh, spacious uh, you c the field of view is very good uh, nothing obstructs you it feels like a aqua aquarium <laughs> like a fishbowl it's a uh, very good view and let's start the car which I noticed also the it's like pause and play pause and play those um, pedals so where is my ah the button is from here not very usual usual spot for the start stop button or it depends usually the start stop buttons have been like you, you can always see it uh, zero, it shows 363 kilometers you have map the screen is uh, small but I think it's enough it doesn't have to be a huge let's compare it to my phone okay it's uh, as big as a phone screen
So now I'll buckle up, put uh, the camera on the tripod and let's uh, start the trip. For a, m a moment I had the first uh, problem. I couldn't find the uh, gear shifter to put uh, on gear. At, at first it took me f a minute or two because take a look. I started looking for the gear changing and nothing this was like this where is this shifter usually that's the usual place or here no no here okay where is it uh, okay it's here I don't have to and here is also the it's like in the sports car so I don't know what I have to do okay now now Metro. Now I'm on in B. What is B? Ah, now it's direct. So, first problem solved. Now we can uh, start the trip. <laughs> That's kind of unexpected. They have put some uh, some things uh, in different uh, spots. But um, it takes uh, a minute and uh, you can find it. This trip will turn a little bit like a review of the Volkswagen i3. Ah, it has a very nice... Uh, uh, so I can see the speed uh, of the car through the windshield. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, that's uh, really good. Okay, I'm going back home to take uh, the charger and then we start our trip to Yehvi. My vaccination is uh, 2.30 and now it's uh, 2 o'clock, uh, not 2 o'clock, it's 12 o'clock something, 12.10. And uh, the navigation tells me that I'm going to reach uh, 203, so I need to have time to find that place where I'm going to get vaccinated. So don't have uh, much time or to film, maybe I'll film more on the way back. But uh, the beginning is uh, quite standard. I had actually an interesting thing that uh, I couldn't find the radio for five minutes. I'll show you later why because everything goes through uh, an icon uh, on the dashboard which is just a blue rectangle do you want to see it okay take a look everything goes through this blue rectangle okay you see I was searching for like a icon radio, uh, aircon or something, navigation, but everything goes through that one. <laughs> okay, now I'm at Peter Burimante and I think you have seen this road, so I'll film uh, only briefly. that safety f feature that uh, it starts to break itself when it sees there is danger and you don't press the accelerator 
which is uh, not accelerator but it is uh, play button <laughs> and the, the, uh, to stop you need to uh, press pause <laughs> it's like an, a phone so this is an industrial zone a lot of trucks this is a great place take a look I don't know what do you think where are those trucks going to maybe Russia because that's the that's the road to Narva and from there to Russia but okay that's it for for now see you in Yehvi or in the other segment I, I will film I don't know if you see this uh, head on, on display, but it's uh, quite nice. We are now passing mud. quite interesting the car does so much uh, itself that uh, stopping showing you some dangers on this uh, head over display so it's, um, it's, it's amazing I'm impressed and uh, the weather is quite nice for driving not too much of a sun it's a bit cloudy so perfect time some yellow flowers already kilometers from Yohi so we'll be there soon on our 110 
vaccinated with this Janssen vaccine so hopefully everything is fine feel fine let's have a trip around uh, Yehvi come along Uh, it started raining a little bit I just wanted to show you one interesting function that um, quite necessary you can find uh, the closest charging port uh, it's in the map let's check it out check it out so we put here Charging station nearby. And start. I have actually enough. Now it shows hundred and eighty four. But uh, just to be on the safer side, let's uh, charge it at least for half an hour, so I can maybe go home quicker or have the peace of mind. So uh, I reached uh, the charging station and there is nothing very special about charging. It's the same as in every electric car. Uh, it, it shows that f it ne needs 4 hours to charge it fully but I don't need a fully charged car ah it's very nice light check it out showing do you see this is showing that it's charging <laughs> 4 hours but let's check it out
So, cable, the same port, the same card, the same procedure here, and then press start, and that, that's it. So, charging is easy as piece of cake. So, I'll go have a coffee, let it charge for half an hour, and then uh, trip back to Tallinn. So, the car is charged to 200 kilometers. It took me half an hour. And now I'm going back to Tallinn from Yehvi. I just wanted to show you the navigation system. It's uh, quite neat with those lights. This overhead display or the display in the windshield is really comfortable. Uh, it immediately shows you when uh, you are getting off uh, uh, your lane, either on left or right hand side. It corrects your driving and uh, it assists you in a very delicate but efficient way. One thing I need to admit that um, this function, adaptive uh, cruise control on this uh, Volkswagen ID3, uh, it keeps the car very centered uh, in the center of the lane. But maybe I have uh, accustomed more when I'm driving to keep more to the right side, just a little bit more. So for me, it feels like I'm like I'm very in the center <laughs> I'm so close uh, to those who are coming uh, uh, towards me so from time to time for me it's scary but only it's for me because uh, obviously I usually keep more to the right but otherwise it's uh, uh, it makes the life much much easier especially if you are a bit uh, absent-minded it helps you, it turns the right time, you don't have to be that vigilant, which is maybe not the rules, I don't know. Um, you have to be vigilant at most times, so to, to have the eyes on the road anyway, but um, this adaptive cruise control is, uh, is good, but it keeps you quite in the center, take a look. that it looks uh, quite far ahead and even uh, when I, I still don't see the sign it tells me 50 ahead and uh, 50 detected so it's good it, it looks very far okay I'm taking over now I like this traffic light, it's uh, genius. Easy thing with the timer, and you know you have like 14, 13, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 3, 2, 1, start! <laughs> Hopefully on the other side it works too. I like smart technology. behind me uh, which is all obviously driven by a person also keeps more to the right maybe that's uh, quite natural for people to keep more to the right 
but the machine it keeps right in the center <laughs> so note that it's uh, really peculiarity dif difference between people and machines that uh, people tend to avoid danger more maybe <laughs> but the machines can uh, are very correct right in the middle keep it in the middle so uh, keep that in mind when you have like uh, adaptive cruise control and this kind of different uh, gadgets uh, on your car so but it's it's worth it uh, the, it's much smoother much easier but this is one uh, moment please peculiarity search for shell on route i don't want to search Sorry, unable to find any POIs. Please change your search query. Please say the name of the POI category in the search area. Okay, see you in another video.